Alrighty, hello everybody. There's so many things to tech in here. Um, before we get started, we would just like to acknowledge that the land that we meet on today is the traditional lands for the Ghana people and that we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the traditional custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please, would you put your hands together, make some noise for the cast of Dice Paper Roll Live! small stage, it's so hard to make a graceful entrance. I know, it, it's terrible, I isn't it? that was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best that we've done so far. Yeah, it is. And we've got one more night left to perfect it. Um, oh, I've got to put you on aeroplane, Emil. Well. Yeah, right. done. All right. Consider me a biplane, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, so, welcome. Um, look, before we get started really quickly, hands up. Uh, it is a, a Dungeons & Dragons comedy podcast. Hands up who's played D&D before... Yep, hands up yeah. who has no so, idea what the fuck oh, so D&D is. Oh, so out of the hundred people here have played before. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Look, to give you a bit of a, a, a rundown really quickly, uh, for those who don't know, each of us plays a different character throughout the night. Jack is going to be our narrator or our dungeon master. He basically puts us in different situations and we say what we want to do. We roll one of these little dice, which is called a D20 because it has 20 sides on it, to see if we succeed or fail. High numbers are good, low numbers are a bad. bad. Yeah. Bad. Um, and we also uh, really love it if you guys can be our sixth cast member. We occasionally ask you for different sound effects or uh, different um, suggestions in the case of tonight. So um, get your sound effects ready. Uh, give us, um, oh geez, uh, let's, let's hear um, the sounds of a, a tribe of goblins playing basketball. <laughs> 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 That was a tricky Three. one. Yeah. Uh, how about a, a chicken coop full of chickens? <laughs> That's good. What about a, uh, a mysterious wind whistling through the woods? <sighs> questions, questions, questions. Perfect. Look, I reckon, I reckon that'll do us unless there's something else you guys want to hear. No, I'm good to go. Perfect. Uh, just remember when you are contributing, everyone, this is a safe and inclusive space for everyone, okay? So, uh, look, my name's Ben. I play a character named Snatch, and he is a halfling rogue. Uh, halflings are like hobbits from Lord of the Rings. Um, they're, they're short of stature, but big of heart and courage, and they like to steal things. And, and appetite. And big of appetite, mm. too, yes. Uh, that's me. Uh, hi everybody, my name's Greg. I play Alan A Aaron Aeon. He's an ASMR sorcerer of helm. And ASMR is a half angel, half human. Um, as you can tell by his stunning countenance on my shirt. He casts spells through the sheer force of his charisma um, and he channels the power of his god helm. Hi everyone, my name is Dan. I play Thandor, the human fighter and cleric of Tempus. Uh, and so he's a human. He is human. That's what he looks like. Um, he had nothing, no like bells and whistles like the rest of the guys. But damn it, he is versatile. He is uh, anxious and nervous. And uh, But damn it, he tries his goddamn best. And he loves his god Tempus, the god of war. Yeah. All right. My name is Emil. I play Brackeye, the Goliath Barbarian. He's a seven foot tall Goliath hailing from the mountains. His skin is the color of rocks. He has tattoos all over him, kind of like moonstone. He wields a great sword and occasionally turns into a werewolf. Ooh. 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 Uh, oh. Um, I'm, I'm Jack. And uh, generally in the podcast, I play a tiefling bard who is called Oriki Song. I remembered. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Winning! And, uh, she sounds a little bit like this. But tonight, I am playing the dungeon master. And because we wanted to make things hard, real hard, we decided to auto-generate the, uh, the adventure today. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get one of the audience members. Good uh. microphone safety. Um, to generate a plot for me. And, okay, you, you've generated two now. Um, take a <laughs> screenshot of that. Yeah, you know how to use a phone. Um, excellent. Now generate another one and take a screenshot of that. Great. All right, all right. <gasps> so that's using a fairy tale plot generator. Yes, it's right. a fairy tale plot generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to decide as an audience which plot we want to use. So the first story is, the story is about an arrogant girl who must solve a mystery, overcome three challenges, and attend a dance to outwit a witch. <laughs> oh. so, oh, that sounds or, fantastic. Or... The story is about a lonely wizard who must defeat a giant, overcome three challenges, and solve... <laughs> it's so random. I know. <laughs> and solve three riddles to return home. Assistance comes in the form of a magic horse. Oh, 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 yeah. I like yeah, that, one. that one. That Hand one? Option Wait, two. Can we get a show of hands? So, second one, number two. The wizard. Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, it's okay. so hard to count. It must be... Oh, so oh, many hands. So many hands. Oh, oh, there's there's hundreds of you. Oh. On the back. Oh, yep, yep. yep. Uh, so lonely wizard. Three, three challenges and three riddles. And three riddles. How long have we gone? <laughs> <laughs> That's five seconds. Five enough. minutes of challenge, five minutes of riddle. Oh, no. The phone is locked in... <laughs> Technology <laughs> check. Uh, what are you trying to do? On, hang on. On an unrelated note, we were reviewed the other day and they called us a very slick show. <laughs> yeah. You can tell, can't I just you? thought I'd mention it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no reason. No reason. There's no reason at all. No all right. rhyme or reason. All right, should we get into it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome yeah. Dice. <sighs> okay. Um, let, me, let me have an imagining. Wizard, that's kind of like a sorcerer, right? Yes, very All much right. like a sorcerer. What's going on here, Greg? Let's fix this. Uh, technical issue. Very issues. slick show. Very, <laughs> very slick. slick. Super slick. Slickest show in the fringe. Okay. Um, you're in a house. Off to a good start. Oh, good my start. house that yeah. I love so much and that I built with my bare hands and the help of my friends here. Yeah. And, um, and <laughs> Thanks, so friends. You're welcome, mate. It's all right. Welcome. Yeah. I you think still, we you did most of the work. I yeah. mean, your hands don't look very calloused at all. You well, I purchased the materials. You still haven't paid us, though. It's well, true. I went to the shop with you. I might have stopped at the sausage sizzle on the way in, but I was there. I got a riddle for you. How many friends do you have when you don't pay them for their labour? Mm. Um, let me think about that. Uh, three? Wrong! It's none, you asshole! Oh. Brackeye leaves <laughs> in disgust at his friend who took advantage of his hard work without so much as a thank you! But, but Brackeye, I'm, I'm just nah. a little broke at the moment. Sauce. Perhaps I could pay you back later. I'm out. Yeah, do you know what? I think um, I've, I've got to go and uh, just uh, rearrange the d chickens in the next door neighbor's yard. No, that's a fair enough reason. Goodbye, Snatch. Yeah, bye. Thandor punches Alan in the face. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, you roll for it. Yeah, roll for an attack. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Ah, oh, it's a seven. <laughs> so instead of hitting uh, Alan, mm. you swing with your might and you try as hard as you can and you hit the mantelpiece. Ow. <laughs> Not Ow. my precious mantelpiece Look, that my... I had someone else pay for for me. Ow, my hand. Anyways, you're a dick. I'm leaving. You're alone, mate. Hey. And that's how he became a lonely wizard. I'm a lonely wizard. A lonely wizard. In my wizard. huge, luxurious mansion, built for me by other people and paid for by other people. Oh, how will I find solace in this huge mansion? Perhaps I will go down to the wine cellar and drink some of that fabulously expensive wine that I had other people buy for me. And just at that moment, Snatch has an idea. 
<laughs> oh, I, am I, wait, am I still there? I left. Uh, hey. Yeah. No, it's okay. I caught up. So you leave... And then as you're leaving, you have an idea that maybe there's a way that Alan can make it up to you. Yeah, hey, Brackeye and, and Thandor. Yeah? There must be a way that that selfish prick can, can make it up to us, don't you think? Money would be a good start. I reckon, yeah, you know? uh, maybe paying for, like, labour that we, you know, Cost did. of materials. Well, that sort know. of stuff. I heard about uh, a, a quest that if you send people on and they achieve it, then they, it actually, you know, it teaches them something about themselves. Oh, you think we should send our land on some sort of quest, do you? Yeah. Right. Something and involving lots of riddles and challenges. Right, okay. right, yeah. right. Three, yeah. specifically. Yeah. All right. I got this. I got this. Totally. All right. I say what we do is we, we, we build a, a, a labyrinth, okay? We build a labyrinth at the cost of his own credit card. Because I still have his credit card. He never took that back off me. So we could get other people to build a labyrinth <laughs> and then set a bunch of traps and, and riddles, like riddles yep. and puzzles and all kinds of stuff to fuck with his head just to, for him to learn the merits of friendship. Right. To Larry, the labyrinth builder. So Let's Larry, do it. the labyrinth builder. Let's go. Do right. it. So, do you mean Thandor that like he gave you his credit card, so he really paid for it the whole time? No, I just stole his credit card. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. that that works. Do you go to Larry the thing? Yeah, we go to Larry the l- labyrinth builder to build so a labyrinth for Alan to to, to to learn him a lesson because that's mm. the most. Uh, uh, Concise way for him to learn a lesson. <laughs> yeah, totally. Build a labyrinth outside of his house. <laughs> I'm can't. waiting at home eating a cheese board <laughs> with you, artisanal cheeses. Do you want to bring him along for consistency? And just fig like, jam. We probably should. Yeah. Snatch, just for the po- Snatch for marches the into A-Land and, and, oh, and oh, oh, calls oh. out in the house and his voice echoes. Uh, A-Land! Oh. Wow, your voice yeah, sounds, sounds awesome sounds in the echo, right? Yeah. 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 And then Shit I, out your mouth, but great in the echo. <laughs> I hear Amazing. him drunkenly singing downstairs in the basement. I'm a lonely wizard now with only my expensive wine and cheese and Netflix to keep me solace. And I, I march down and I grab you by the ear and I say, come on, mate, we've got a lesson to learn you. You'll like it. Ow, my ear. Now I have to stay ridiculously close to the ground as I walk upstairs. (laughs) Yes, because I'm very (laughs) short. I get it. Come on, come on, come on. Star wipe. And you're at Larry's labyrinth making experience. (laughs) (laughs) May I ask what you have in your... (laughs) May I ask what you have in your hand, Jack? Yeah, so... Just so our podcast uh, listeners know. Well, so as the, our audience members would know, they provided us with some lovely suggestions for things to uh, people no people to meet, and I put them in my hat because that was cool, and um, and then I pulled them out of my hat, and now you will be going into Larry's Labyrinth right. making experience. Why are we here at Larry's Labyrinth making experience? You will see. I, I owe Larry some money and I'm a little uncomfortable about being here. Well, be prepared to owe Larry a good deal more money, Alan. What? Yeah. Or yep. would you rather be lonely for the rest of your life? <laughs> okay. Yes, and. <laughs> Hello. All right. Hello. Hello. G'day. My name is Bjorn. That's oh. surprising. It says Larry on the building. Yeah. Welcome hmm. to Larry's Labyrinth Building Experience. Where's Larry? We expected Larry. Mm. Uh, he's on leave. <laughs> oh, thank oh, God. Right enough, yeah. Thank hell. I'm so relieved. Everyone deserves a I owe him so much Do you want to look praise. at praise? Do you want to oh. look at Bjorn? <laughs> uh, yeah, Thandor. No, uh, mo- oh, I can't look at you, Bjorn. <laughs> Thandor moves over to the counter where Bjorn's at and says, "Hey, Bjorn, what's up with you?" I'm a talking sword. <laughs> oh no, shit! Right. Oh, yeah. I was oh. wondering where oh, that okay. was from. Okay, should have probably yeah. known that a little bit f- earlier. Qu- Who the fuck's talking at the moment? Question, Bjorn. Um, as a talking sword, um, do you find it hard to find work? I mean, you're here at Larry's, Larry's Labyrinth Building experience, but um, I feel like in terms of labyrinth building, your skills might be somewhat um, limited. Mm. 
Well, it also turns out... Is that the voice I was using before? It doesn't Might matter. as well be. Yep. He's a talking sword. He can talk however the fuck <laughs> it wants. Yeah. <laughs> well, it also turns out I'm also animated. Oh, oh goody. Wow. Oh, oh no yeah, way. I noticed with all the movement and everything. Yeah. Or is it like drawn like a cartoon against yes. the rest of real life, animated? I, yeah, I noticed because you're two-dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exceptional at cutting wood, which is great for my employment at Larry's Labyrinth Building in Experience. Odd for a sword, though, to be exceptional at wood. You must have been um, not very popular with yeah. your family. Wouldn't Many they of my you? friends were axes. Yep. And I was just a sword. Oh. Bit of a black sheep, were you? Yes. I'd hug you, but sharp edges. Uh, yeah. Were you a... And that is the problem. Were you a Bjorn again woodcutter? Was that... (laughs) (laughs) Worth it. (laughs) (laughs) I I guess you get lots of wood jokes. We would have had it up to the hilt. (laughs) (laughs) Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Oh. Oh. Come on, fellas. That, 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 that's, a bit of a, that's a bit of broad for this one, eh? Yeah, <laughs> enough of the cutting words. Ah. <laughs> Sword. <laughs> oh, that <fad> door. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you done having fun at my expense? Um, um, I don't know. Let all us... right, to what kind of labyrinth do you want? We want one specifically to teach a friend a lesson about not paying his friends. Yeah, some asshole. Oh. Something something with a few riddles would be good. Three challenges specifically, three yeah. riddles would be good. Although I did already give him one riddle, so we kind of technically only need two. Yeah. Do you have aisles with like display labyrinths or models? Or is yes, it, yes. Uh, Do you want me to give you the tour? Yes, Absolutely. pop along and yeah. um, we'll go right. and have a look. All right, they, uh, you walk through. Uh, he shows you to the back door and um, takes you through. Seems odd. Is, is it, yeah, is that, are they are the best ones out oh, the back? Is yeah. this going to be go, like an you escape go out the room? Back and Do it's we go through a beaded curtain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, beaded uh, curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beaded yeah. curtain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, and it's like the Matrix back there. There's labyrinths all the way back. All the way. We've got your small experiences, we've got the large experiences, and we've got the gargantuan experiences. Well, we've only got about 40 minutes, so um, <laughs> anything we can get done, both built and then also travelled through and lesson learned within that period. Can we, be... can we just test out the... No! What about the gargantuan experience. Well, yeah. does it have about two uh, two riddles, three challenges, three challenges, three challenges and room there. for a horse? Yeah, and a giant. Yes, oh. and a giant. That's right. Yeah, yeah. the gargantuan, gargantuan it must be. Then, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. no, right. no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll take the gargantuan one. Are they the same price? Yeah. All right, well, that yeah. was well, easy. you have a very bad business model. <laughs> <laughs> um, that'll be three gold. Oh, you have a very so bad business model. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'll pay it. I mean, we yes, use a l- and Thandor passes over a credit card and he goes, don't worry, fellas, this is on me. Oh, oh thanks, Thandor. Thandor. Oh, oh, that's that's a good legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 um, um, it good. drops on the floor because Bjorn doesn't have any hands. <laughs> 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 cool. Thandor reaches over and picks it up. and. Um, could you, um, yeah, could you just... Uh, um, press it against the hilt? That's right, yeah. Okay. But- he has a square reader in his pommel. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and you buy the labyrinth. Do you want to just star wipe to when you've got the labyrinth? Yay. Because it takes a while to set up. And Is it like a flat pack or? Can we yeah. do a montage? Yeah, can yeah. we have a building <laughs> montage? Then I was going to be like hammering into like wood and like hammering nails and like Snatch is holding up like planks of wood and just like trying to look busy without doing too much work. Brack Iron and Apron comes out with a a tray of lemonade for all of his friends and they all laugh. (laughs) (laughs) Alan watches. (laughs) (laughs) Which of us is the one that cracks the shits when the one piece, the one last (laughs) piece is missing. Sounds like you. Yeah, that definitely sounds like you, Snatch. Yeah, I hate this fucking place. Let's definitely star wipe. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> you star wipe. And 
you're there in front of the labyrinth. It's built right next to Alan's house. Great labyrinth. It really adds a lot to my property value. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. No, yeah. yeah. You, all for just three gold and all your blood, sweat and tears. Yeah, you really didn't help out with that <laughs> again. <laughs> You're really teaching him a lesson by doing more <laughs> manual hard labor. Thank you so much for yeah. increasing my pro- property value with well, your own manual it's, labor. It's time for you to experience the labyrinth. Oh, yeah. great. Is it like an escape room? Uh, yes. Yeah, kind of. All right. Off I go on my lonesome into the labyrinth. Maybe, maybe we should trail behind him at about yeah, 20 yeah. feet. Just yeah, just just just, yeah. I can see that you're still behind me. All right, how about, well, we put in all the staircases so then we could be up above yeah, the labyrinth. Yeah, secret rooms So and we stuff. can be up above and we can just, like, have the bird's eye view. Oh, I'm so it. glad we bought the labyrinth with the mezzanine level. That was really <laughs> yeah. the eyes of us, yeah. Good well, it's gargantuan, so, <laughs> like, true, it's pretty yeah. fucking big. You're only six metres away from me. I can still see you. Shut up, Alan. It's not working if you keep talking to us. Thandor hides. It's a 13. You uh, hide... Um, but you bump into... I pulled another thing out of my hat. A tiger. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, there's a tiger! It's Wait, defining... On the mezzanine level. Do you want to know its defining features? Yeah, well, yeah. Yes. absolutely. Like, describe it to us. Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tiger looks distinct from every other tiger I've ever seen. Know. What an outlandish tiger. Oh, it's so, so specific. stripey. My God, I would, ne- I would never forget this tiger and his stripes. Her stripes, who knows? Ah! It's, is it friendly? My my name is Lion. I'd say That's the confusing. distinguishing That's feature is that it talks. Yeah. I see. I see that you have ordered the gargantuan labyrinth. I come with the experience. Would you like a tour? I mean, he's well, the one who's supposed to go on it. We're just watching. We're yeah, now yeah. observing. We just want to make sure he gets his lessons. Yeah, he he gets his comeuppance. I'm halfway through already. You did it. You, you didn't. You didn't try it. You didn't test it before putting it on someone? I mean, the sword Bjorn said it wasn't allowed, uh, so... I mean, we... and we built it, so, like, we know what's in it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, I dear, you... oh, dear. What oh. seems to be the problem, Lion? Um, nothing, nothing. There's no problem at all. That sounds ominous. That sounds very ominous. Um, and, What's uh... your beef? Huh? What's your beef? No, I'm a lion. Oh, right. I'm in okay. a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stripes. That's what defines me. <laughs> yeah. Dead giveaway. Yeah. Dead. Um, um, what happens next? What? I, 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 oh, this is up to Surely me, you've right? got a riddle for our friend here. Oh, lion, the tiger. Will you guide me through the labyrinth and tell me a riddle on the way? The second riddle of the three that I must complete to finish this labyrinth, Maybe along even- with three other challenges? Yeah. And a horse. And I've got to meet a horse at some point, too, apparently, and, and, and fight a, a giant. giant. Uh, Jesus, that's a lot. That's a <laughs> lot to get to through. Get <laughs> All right. Better get, I mean, you You've got up. tons of material ahead of you, does, Lion the Tiger. Does the audience have a riddle for Lion? Yeah. Perhaps. Does anyone know a riddle? No. Mm. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's consult the hat. I Did feel you ask like the hat that for may riddles? be riddle free. You never know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What oh, has... I've got a riddle for, for Lion to ask them. Oh, yeah, yeah. How many stripes on my back? Oh, oh it's such a tough <laughs> riddle. <laughs> One, two, three, really? four, five. Twenty-seven. <laughs> What's that? There's no punchline, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's correct! Yay! Yay! I passed the second riddle test. Yeah, perhaps I will meet my friendly horse companion at some point in the near future. Isn't it meant to be an arrogant horse? An arrogant horse. Oh, no, that was the No, other. it's a magic horse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, my magical steed. No, you haven't met it yet. Oh. Um, as you keep wandering through the labyrinth, Alan. You come across many arches of wooden things. Oh, arches of wood that are 
arch shaped and arch across the passageways. Oh, I'm glad he's noticing those. We put a lot of that. Yeah, well, that was extra. Yeah, that must have that taken a lot of work. Hand me. carving that. Swim. I wonder what happens if I jump up and slap no, it. No, 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 no. Oh. And that side of the wing falls down and reveals behind it. A horse. Ah, oh, a magical steed for me to ride through the labyrinth. I approach the horse, calmly, trying to calm it with my animal handling. Yeah. And I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, hello. Oh. My name is Oss. Oh, no, a French horse. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, lovely to meet you, Ors. No, it is Ors. Sorry, Ors. Ors. Yes. We. 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 Is silent. Oh well, um, I don't have any apples to feed you, but I do have this wedge of brie. Considering you're a French horse, surely that would be okay. That is my favorite cheese. Oh, excellent! Eat up, horsey. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, now may I so, ride you through the labyrinth? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I mean, we. Oui. We, oui, yes. This way. Are you going to ride me? Yes, I'm. Hang on, let me get up. Ah, Do an oh. animal handling check. Six. Uh, hi. No, I do not think you will ride me. Oh, well, perhaps we can walk side by side and become friends. It is an arrogant horse. Maybe it rides him. <laughs> I think I shall ride you. Oh, no, you're like way heavier than me and also have four legs. Do a human uh, handling and thus check. thus began your <laughs> yeah, first challenge. The horse does a human handling check. <laughs> And oh. gets a 15. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. Challenge number one. Ah, Challenge number one. Carrying this magical horse through the labyrinth is a lot tougher than I expected this labyrinth to be. Also, carrying him across my shoulders makes me quite wide, and I'm getting that stuck way. in the hallways. No, that way. No, wait. It is that way. Yes. Are you pointing with a hoof? That way. Yes. <laughs> I made a hoof. Shape with my hand. Excellent. Uh, Physical comedy in a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works. Um, and as you go with Oss, the horse, and he takes you along the labyrinth, a strange figure is looming. It's large, humongous, even. Here we go. Yeah, this, this should is, be this, good. This is this gonna be good. He'll learn like his it. lesson here I for like sure. It. Let me double check. He'll definitely learn his lesson. Yep, it's a giant. <laughs> well, it seems I've overcome the challenges of eating too much cheese and then being able to poop the next day and meeting a horse and carrying it down a hallway. Very little left for me to do. That is right. But wait, there is more. Oh. Oh. Steak oh. knives? It is a giant. Oh, if only my friends were here to help me. <laughs> I heard that, Brackeye. You're, yeah, you're still not, only six here, meters away. Shut up, yeah, shut, shut, up. shut up, fuck you. My feelings. Um, <laughs> well. And uh, as you clop along, well, you carry the horse along. Um, <laughs> do you want to do a strength check for me, by the way? Uh, not really, yes. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's an evil DM, Martha. Uh, Were you in the horse? The, uh, the horse. You, oh, hang on. Wait. Rewind a little bit. You walk forward towards the giant, and as it looms above you, you collapse under the weight of the horse. Ah, oh, the horse has crushed me. And the other three look on. Yeah. Well, what do you do? You know, he's going to learn his lesson this way. It is unfortunate. Being yeah. crushed to death by a horse is like a pretty good lesson. I can't Listen. breathe. Be crushed to death. Oh. Should we, should we go down and help him? Or? I mean, I mean it's, it's, we would, but the, the, the but stairs. But then he won't the, learn his lesson. And the stairs to the mezzanine are way back there. I mean, we're on quite a I'd long galley don't. walk here. I, I say As we don't do anything unless he, if he doesn't ask for help, then he has to learn the, the merit of friendship, oh. that he needs to, that friends help each other. Isn't that what we're doing this whole fucking thing for? 
I mean, yeah, but he has to ask, right? Yeah, and, that's and it. Pay. Right. Right. I'm gasping for breath. I'm going to use a subtle spell to telekinesis the horse off me and then hit the giant with it. Yeah, you do that. I mean, could you, could you want to roll for it? Or do I have to roll for it? Uh, if the horse is resisting, we need to make opposed checks. I would really like to oh, stay shit. on top of six. you. <laughs> oh, it's a six. <laughs> six. <laughs> you are, yes, you, you will. Stay on top of me. I will. And just as you three up in the mezzanine are talking to each other, the mm. giant turns around, moving its hands, and in a... In a in a act that probably was foreshadowed by a giant being inside of a labyrinth made of wood, the giant hears your sounds <gasps> and waves its hand and breaks through, and you're knocked into the stage where Alan is oh, with the hey magic. Guys. No, oh, no. Oh, fucking ow, my face! The, oh, the manual said that you were safe for the mezzanine. Yeah, the giant oh. mustn't have got the memo that we're meant to be like audience members, mm. so that Alan has to do all the work. Fuck him, <laughs> guiding bolt. Thandor's gonna cast guiding bolt at the uh, giant, and um, yeah, fuck him up with that. So he's gonna roll to attack, and that's a motherfucking sixteen. Um. Yeah, you hit it. You hit it. It's a giant. It's really hard to miss. Great. And um, and uh, brings the power of tempest. Bli- uh, bright white light flashes from the sky and slams into the uh, the fucking giant, and it blinds him for a moment. Oh! Why am I in a labyrinth? This is horrible. Oh. Is this giant being coerced against its will? Oh, Maybe shit. he was. And I, I think, think so. I just Maybe this is part him. of the challenge. Could you help me with the for the horse? No, I mean, no, you got to learn a lesson. I feel like you're overcoming just... your your challenge by okay. yourself. There. All right, thanks. Oh, but he did ask. Please. That's true. He asked. He asked. Oh, okay. All right, 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 fine. Right. Yeah. Do you want to roll for that? Twenty. Well, lucky you got a twenty because I got a three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thando just like picks up the horse with one hand and just goes boom. Moves him out of the way. You uh, pick up the horse and roll it along the back of your hand like a basketball (laughs) and then spin it on one finger. And then you throw the horse at the giant. Yeah. That's what I was going to do. That means that I have advantage on that because I just did guiding bolt against it. So I'm going to give... Whoa, fuck, that's lucky because it was a 2 and a 17. Yeah, you, you hit... The giant with the horse, what am I doing? Wait, oh no, wait, we were just saying that hasn't this giant just been coerced into well, a you've being probably yeah, just upset a, it. Some kind of fucked up, like, weird plot that we have just created just to teach our friend a lesson. Yep, and, then and you're part of the problem. Well done, yeah, Thandor. Yeah, great. Oh no. It seems you're all part of the problem. I get up dusting myself off. Us all part of the problem. What about you? You're the problem, mate. Well, you know, I'm a bit short on coin. You gotta give your friends a bit of leeway every now and then. Every now and then. First it was the milkshakes, now it's this. This is bullshit. I only owed you for a couple of months. Yeah. You should have seen the tab. The sorcerer. Barry, Barry was not happy. The mm. Sorcerer game's a bit of a tough gig at the moment, not getting much coinage. What, you think... Who threw a horse at me? Snatch points at Thandor. Yep, that was Thandor. <laughs> Thandor points at Alan. I mean, honestly, who throws a horse? Alan does. Uh, you know what else I throw? Lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, electricity crackles around Alan, uh, circling down his arms and striking out uh, to hit the giant square in the chest. Do you want to make a dexterity save? Hang on, I'm the DM. But also, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fail! Oh, yeah. Electricity crackles through the giant. Um, and it fucking falls over. How many hit points does a giant have? As many uh, as you want it to have. It has 17. Oh. And it dies. <laughs> oh. oh, that's quite oh, a no. fragile and underfed giant. I feel very guilty oh about yeah, all this. It's almost like he was a slave co-opted into this 
scheme by that horrible Larry the Labyrinth no, experience was, guy. It was just the kid that was at the acting school. He just wanted to have a part-time gig at the experience in the the, the escape room. Are and we, now are we, we just cutting too close to someone. home? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to talk about this? Is, with us? this is a deep cut. <laughs> it's a safe space. You know that. Know. You can talk about stuff if you need to, mate. No, no, it's okay. Perhaps I'll bottle it up. It's all good. That's the healthy way. That's, That's the way, the way, to, do way it. to do it. Perhaps Ors could give us some wisdom about what's been going on with these creatures trapped in the labyrinth. Oh, no. It broke its neck when you threw it at the giant. Oh, what a pity. It's, oh, no. it's okay. I am still alive. Oh, oh. excellent, Ors. Let me heal you. And I reach down and, and golden energy cascades it, out of my hand. It lifts off the ground and its spine snaps back into place. Oh, and you can hear Jesus. it cracking. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. That's yeah. a magic horse, all You've right. You've heard a horse spine crack before, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Someone's God. an equine chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a whole convention of them last week. <sighs> um, and the horse gets up and does a little ditty on the ground. On two feet? Yeah, on two feet. Great. And, uh, no, sir, says, that's why like it's got it. such back problems. It's meant to be on four, four legs. <laughs> the problem was Bjorn all along. Oh, what? Bjorn? The talking sort. He killed Larry. Oh. Oh. oh, we never really did ask where Larry was, did we? He just said he was on leave. Personally, I don't, I don't really know. It's just a store. I don't know Larry that well. Why would I ask? Yeah, no, 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 no it's enough. just pretty safe to assume that, you know, people work and they need time off. But we need to avenge Larry's death. Also, if we kill the sword, that'll wipe my debt to Larry and I'll be able to pay you all back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. that was the lesson we were going for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of your debts by killing, killing animated swords. Mm -hmm. So you head off towards Larry's labyrinth experience. Hey, look, there's the shortcut out the labyrinth right here. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, well, lucky you guys built this. <laughs> yeah. Convenient. Yeah, we know the, the ways. Mm. There's a convenient star white portal right through <laughs> this door. Let's go. Oh, there we are. Hey. hey. Bjorn. Bjorn. You dodgy. You. What? Oh, is Bjorn not here? What have you pulled out of your hat? I don't know yet. Hang on. Slick show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a slick show. Feel the ball up in okay. the air. All right, hang on. That one's no good. Hang on. No effect. Because you can't read it? Yeah, I can't read okay. it. Okay. Right. Not because it's not a b good suggestion. It just looks more promising. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, greeter hello. at the right. front of the store. Who's Where's talking Bjorn? now? Yeah, last time we just trusted a voice. It, was, it turned yeah. out to be a traitorous sword. Reveal yeah. yourself. My name is Forte. Okay, what are you good at? <laughs> what do you look like, Forte? What's your what are Forte, your Forte? Forte? <laughs> I play things with my fingers. What, you mean uh, like a pianist, a or, harpist? What or, do you do? And, or like parlor games? Forte moves through the tight four and presses her finger across each head. What is she, though? And wait. it plays ah. a song. Oh, I didn't consent to that. No, wait, hang on. <laughs> I'm doing... you got to improvise a, a sound. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Ping. Boom. Ping. Ooh. Wow, what a song. Oh, oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. What incredible. just touched me on the head? Yeah, what, what is this? Is it a person? Is it Forte. A yeah. That was my fingers. Yeah, but what, what, what are yeah, we looking what at? What is the fingers attached to? <laughs> what are you, Forte? <laughs> Tell us more about yourself. What do you look like? Human, uh, elf, gnome, uh, devil, ASL, demon, sword with arms. Fuck, it doesn't say. Make it um, up. Make it up. <laughs> make it up. <laughs> make it's, it, it up. It, Forte is a, um, a giant squirrel. Ah, just as I suspected, a giant squirrel. Oh, I thought those oh hands got furry. Yeah, yeah. plays yes. humans and, and, and vaguely of acorns. Their mm. body. Plays human skulls like acorns. Mm. My minimum wage is really bad. All right. Oh, well, is that Bjorn or Larry's fault? Because we've heard some bad things about Bjorn. It was definitely Bjorn. Oh, that's two people who've said Bjorn's no good. Well, mm. we are looking for Bjorn. Do you know where it is? Where they are? They are at the back of the labyrinth doing a stock take. 
How evil! Of course they are! They're taking over the business and using it for their own financial gain. That's unacceptable, boys. Let's go get them. They're also in a labyrinth within the labyrinth store at the back of the labyrinth Labyrinth. file. I'm sure sure that'll be easy to find. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hours later after just like a bird's eye view of us running through. Five hours later. (laughs) Why is the horse back? My God, we've been here for hours. That way, horse. You look that way. Yeah, the horse is meant to give us assistance, isn't it? Isn't that what the generator... No, it's magical. It doesn't say it's going to help us. What gives us assistance? Wasn't there something... the magical horse. Oh, the magic is that I talk. Oh, That's pretty magic. Yeah. 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 Your shit is also rainbow colored. Well done, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many benefits. It smells like bubble gum. Mm. Do you know where the stock room is? Yeah. Because <laughs> we've just been running out the front this last <laughs> five <laughs> hours. <laughs> Could you take us? I could. I mean, we. I could. <laughs> oh, thanks, okay. horse. Thanks, horse. Sorry for breaking your neck earlier. Although technically it wasn't me. But yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that giant bad. took it all pretty easy, didn't he? Just kind of like. I mean, he died. Oh, he died. Yeah, he oh, he died. died. He's, taking yeah. it easy. he's taking it real <laughs> easy. <laughs> Forever. Oh, he's resting ever, in peace. Ever, you know, just you know, uh, done with it. I forgot about him. Yeah. Poor giant. How quickly yeah. we forget. Yeah. Yeah. He only died a few minutes ago. Yeah. So Who's what, he who learning a lesson? About? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is learning the lesson. <laughs> No, it's just a thing I picked up on my travels. Okay. Point of expression. People say it during sex. All sorts of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might be in aisle three. Oh, oh. aisle three. The one aisle we didn't check. Oh, oh great. Yeah. He always, thinks. Always like, the last place you look, isn't it, Thandor? Yeah. Hey, Number Forte three. might want to call a clean up in aisle three. Am I right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but also, please don't, because you no. might pre-warn him that yeah, we're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't that's do that. Yeah. Unfortunate. Good joke, though. No, thanks. I've been really working nice on it all night. Really I think good. that is a joke in part taste. Forte has had to man the counter for the last five hours don't at you, don't three you mean, pounds an hour. Don't you mean squirrel the counter? I mean, just to be technical. Uh, and we, really lame, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> I feel very bad about that now. <laughs> Well, oh, shot. look, there is Bjorn. <laughs> well, that's enough horsing around. Let's get on with it. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, Bjorn walks up. What did Bjorn sound like? It didn't matter before. It Why would it matter now? Why would it matter now? Oh, hello, fellas. How was your... How was your labyrinth? Gee, Bjorn, your voice has changed a shitload since yeah, last time. you're what almost unrecognisable. You, you seem a lot more chipper as well. Like, is there something that you're a lot more happy about? And something? hey... You're a saber now. You're a longsword before. I don't know what you're talking about. You've still got that rapier wit, I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do a uh, an inspection of uh, Bjorn? Absolutely. Please. Aylan puts on high. his rubber gloves. Oh. I got a five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, that'll do. And as you look at him, mm. I mean them. It appears as if they are more than just a sword. Oh, yeah, they're a sentient sword. <laughs> and animated. <laughs> and animated. I mean, I guess that was obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Snatch But says, what else could there possibly be? Thandor looks even closer at the sword. And as you look, you can see that beside the sword, there is... A whisper of motion and refraction as you look past the sword and you see behind the sword a beast. Oh. An invisible beast. Ooh. I don't say anything. What are you talking about? No, I I rolled a shit roll, so it's just Thandor. Okay, guys, I'm just going to say there's something else going on here. Like, there seems like there's maybe like another kind of beast going on here. And, um, you know, things aren't quite as they seem. All right, well, there's only one thing for that. And Snatch unholsters one of his pistols and just shoots into the thin air next to the sword. Because why not? Twelve. How? How? How dare you? 
A bit rough, Snatch. I told you things weren't quite as they seem. Yeah, well, you know, just trying to unearth the mystery. Shoot first, ask questions later, yeah, I Yeah, plus see. I felt like I wasn't doing much, so I, uh, I just figured just be brazen, be bold, just go out there and overshoot, so to speak. What? <laughs> what? what did he shoot? Yeah, was that the sword that said that? Um, and a giant... Um, Have you got anything left in your hat? No. Oh. Cockroach. I, I, I've only, all I've got is uh, um, Aranel, who is a smartass, and a sea bomb. Okay. Aranel, you... You smartass and sea bomb. Glad you got shot. Do they do they appear back into existence when yeah, I shoot them? Yeah, they do. Sorry, yeah, yeah, they do. And they're a giant lynx. B- what do you a- smell bad? Like teenage yeah. boys. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. oh it's like Africa. Giant, yeah, what well, oh, I imagine oh Africa. Oh, a giant geez. can of lynx <laughs> carrying a sword named Bjorn. Hello! This is me and my sword named Bjorn. Well, you smell. Well, you seem like a bit of a cunt, really. <laughs> <laughs> and he rolls to attack. Oh no! Oh no! Swiping at all of you and rolling an eighteen. Oh, that's oh a hit. Yeah. I got slashed. That's a hit. Yeah, that's a pretty fucking good hit. That hits me. Um, I guess you'd take. Six points of damage each. Oh, oh. oh slashing. <laughs> Yeah. Well, screw you, Link's face. And uh, I cast Banishment to banish her, uh, the Lynx and the sword into a pocket dimension. Can you make a save? Yeah, I can. Charisma. Ten. Did I, <laughs> did I pass? No, you no, didn't. You didn't. DC 19. And just as you cast that spell, Lynx, I mean, RNL passes away into a dot and another dimension. Bjorn sucked with them. No longer to be seen again. And you start your own labyrinth business. In, in the, the same location. With all the, the same, same stock. <laughs> yeah. same stock. And yeah. all the money still in the till. And just hoping right. that Larry uh, met some kind of unfortunate end and he's actually not on leave. But we do up the pay of the squirrel... Yep. By one yep. pound an hour. So yep. and <laughs> good work. I'm able to pay you all back quick smart from my wages. So, Alan, tell me, what did you learn today? I learned a valuable lesson that one should always rely on talking horses to be thrown at giants for later being able to gain yourself a pre-established business which has an excellent yearly turnover. Wait, come here, boys. Really, is that close enough? Close enough? Yeah, no, it seems like... Enough. Oh, sorry, I'm not involved in this one. No, 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 Go away, fuck off. It's kind of hard when I sit in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, you know... Yeah, I mean, all right. Maybe oh, one more. Can you, can you throw a little bit of friendship in there as well? Yeah. Oh, yes, and I made some lovely friends with a squirrel... Um, and an horse. What about me? An horse. Oh, you said me. Yes, yes, a French horse. Arrogant horse. And to be a twice. dead giant. And I'll always be friends with them forever. Right, okay. Well, yeah. I'm seriously getting ready to fucking kill this At guy. least the boss is not lonely anymore, eh? Yeah. He's just got a different set of friends. Sorry, I don't um, hang out with colleagues after work. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, we've come to the end of the story. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> wow, yeah. Jack. Jack, improvise the whole oh. game. Give him a round of applause. Well done, Jackie boy. Fuck, that was... Amazing. You threw, you threw Amazing. yourself into the deep end, man, and you fucking... That was awesome, bro. I would, I would never do that. Um, <laughs> to, <laughs> this is also you? possibly Jack's fourth ever... Yeah, yeah, third or fourth ever, ever live yeah. game. Dungeon Master. Pour yourself a beer. You um, earned it. <laughs> you deserve it. D&D players in the house. Have you ever you DM before? Which, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Can you imagine doing it live? It's a spooky, yeah, it's and a spooky experience on its own. Improv. Jack, what I mean. Well. How do you feel okay? Uh, I was, um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It was this, It was an experience. A labyrinth experience. A labyrinthian experience. experience. Yeah. Indeed. 
Well, thank you so much, ever so much for joining us. It's been lovely to have you here at the A Club on a Friday night. We'll be here again tomorrow night. So uh, if you have any friends who like d d tell them to come along because mm. it'll be our last show in Adelaide for a little while. Um, we'll be going back to Melbourne. We also make a podcast, so check it out. It's at dicepaperroll.com. We have 60-something episodes up mm. there and lots of artwork by wonderful Jack here. Uh, and, yeah, yeah that's about yeah. it. Well, yeah, um, a couple of the boys will be downstairs with a bit of merch uh, if you do want to have a look at, at what we've got and um, and even just business cards so you can find us online as well to have a listen to the podcast mm. uh, which is is just as fun and chaotic as uh, tonight was. Yeah, but come back tomorrow because yes. Greg's going to be Greg's going to be DMing that one as well. We've been taking it in turns uh, throughout the season. Yeah. So come back; it's going to be a totally different thing. Yeah, tomorrow night we'll be uh, exploring a few fairy tales and uh, getting into the nitty gritty of of what makes fairy tales tick. So it should be a very interesting game. Mm. Way less random, though. <laughs> way way less random, completely. So thank you so much for coming along. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thanks, guys.